And this supports my new book, a bestseller on Amazon, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Okay, we're going to catch fish in broad daylight and then going to just before sunset, after sunset, and then we're going to break out the night vision and go into the darkness and, and compare the action across that range of daylight. But I think the coolest part of this video is what I caught on the night vision camera in the night sky. If you've never seen that before, I think it will freak you out um, if you don't know what it is. But um, yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, here we go. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Nice and settled down. There'll be a couple of fish there. And I'm going to fish this well into darkness and my, to my viewers. What is your experience fishing under a bright full moon, either shallow water or surf? Have you found that it helps you or hurts you? And we're going to address that. One. There he is, first cast. Ah, uh, not big. That's the way it should be though. Spots, stripes rather. Okay, one cast, one bass. All right, yeah, one cast, one fish there, but then nothing, so I moved on. And uh, the rest of the daylight fishing will be done in a 100 yard stretch. I'll move back and forth on it, but I'm staying in a confined area. And this is Long Island, New York. Oh, 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 oh. Second cast, oh, look. Come on, man. <clears throat> and that's the second cast in this location. Second cast brings a bass, but not big, but come on, look at these conditions. Any bass okay with me? Yeah, and the conditions being calm, bright, um, you yeah, know, th this is not prime time at all for top water, but um, nonetheless, it's, uh, you know what, these pencils, long casting, great search tools, cover a lot of water. You just need a fish to come up on them. Uh, you know, you don't even need a, need a hit. You just need a fish to look at it to know there's fish around. That's kind of what I'm doing here as I'm searching. So the plug in this fishing is a, a dark matter heavy. This one's silver. Um, I want to say something about the reel. So this is a uh, Tsunami Salt X 6000. Uh, apparently there's a new version coming out. So this, these are discounted. They're $299. That's a steal for, for these reels. Uh, they're the ones I use for like most of this. And I'll have a link in the video description. Come on. Got you. Better. Look how close. Such bright weather.
Hey! structures. Again, halfway in. Trying to get over this rock. Yeah, he's trying to hang me on it. Maybe he has. Yep, he did for a second. One's better than the others. Oh, it's a blue fish. It's a blue, yeah. Big blue. Jambalaya. this one. Whew -wee. Again, I did weigh him. It was 13 pounds. Okay. Don't bite me. Don't. I said don't bite me. Alright, you'll be able to see from the angle of the sun on the next fish that uh, it was a while before I hooked anything else again. Um, yeah, I did have a couple of hits, but nothing the hook. I swear I smell bluefish. Pretty distinctive.
is a big blue. And it had bluefish written right across the side of it. I knew I smelled those things. Yeah, it's a very distinct smell. Oh, pulled it off. Oh, there's another one there. Come on. Now, you yeah, always check that leader for phrase after dealing with a bluefish. All right, so the sun has dropped below the horizon, and the, the hitting's actually going to pick up. All right, I'll get a couple of more looks at the pencil, but you get to a point where on the surface poppers, they, they, you know, they just stop grabbing them. So that's when I switch over to a spook. So that's what you're going to see next. And it's all part of that transition into darkness. Spook time. Oh, yeah, right after it. They need it now. Oh, oh, eight at that time. Yeah, they get to a point where they don't hit the pencil. They'll hit the spook. And it is that time. That's a dark matter astro spook, uh, the green one, which they call bunker. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Dropped him. Yeah, you see that rod held at the low angle, and I'm just, you're just thumping it, basically with the reel picking up the line in between the thumps. Right. At the end of the thump, you, you kind of, at the end of the sweep, kind of trying to let that plug go on its own, and it's just going to go back and forth on the surface, and they eat it up. Thump, thump, thump. Come on. one. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Now, forecast with the spook, two lost fish. 
One nice looker. Maybe the hook stays in this time. It's pretty, pretty good though. Five casts, three hooks, one look. Slightly better fish, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, it makes a nice wake. That piece the way he's hooked. Definitely a bass. I think he's. Alright, so that's what he is. Alright, pretty much to the point that it's uh, too dark to record with the normal camera. but uh, And I've switched to a bomber. Second cast with a bomber. Okay, so I've caught them, have pretty steady action from high daylight into dusk, beyond sunset. And now, you know, you see how, how dark it is. So now what I'm going to do is switch over to the night vision camera. So, you know, there's still some daylight around. And, and there's what the retrieve looks like on the bomber. Very slow. This is a classic way to catch striped bass uh, in, in these kinds of waters after dark. Um, and, yeah, the, actually the video is quite good here, um, considering there's almost no light at all. This is the night vision camera. And it's like, uh, you know, giving me quite a bit of daylight. Good hit, good hit. Okay, it's only the either third or the fourth cast. Let's call it the fourth cast. Yes, yeah, the fourth cast uh, with the bomber. All right, you would have thought that would have been a night bite. Here we are, full darkness. Uh, now the moon is out. This is a Cyanix Aurora Pro camera mounted on a helmet. Look at this, it looks great. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, once it got, once that moon came out, that was it. I never had another hit, and I spent at least 90 minutes at it, maybe more. Um, tried you know, Bucktail, Bomber, Soul Pro, you name it. Not even a hit. Uh, so what are viewers' experiences with the full moon? I can tell you, growing up on Long Island Sound, uh, this kind of fishing at night, full moon, plugs, never done well, although I've done well on live eels. And I know on this particular night on the South Shore of Long Island, they did very well around the inlets, so. I mean, you certainly can catch striped bass surf fishing under a full moon, but uh, my experience under these conditions, no. Um, I, I have never done well. Although, come on, I had such a good bite going into darkness. I'm shocked that I couldn't even get a hit once that moon came out. Oh, I can get him. I've got him. Yeah. And I'm recording. That's very cool. Okay, you are looking at the Starlink train. I had my camera all ready in case I was to see. Look at that. Is that not cool? 
<laughs> we've been sitting out the you know, last hour or so looking in the wrong direction, hoping we would see it. We saw it last night. In the other direction. In the other, yeah. Yeah. I, I, how many are there? It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I think I counted um, seventeen yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and I had the just disappearing into the sky there. Yeah, I had the camera all all ready in case this was to happen tonight, and there they are. So, my viewers, have you seen this before? This is the Starlink train. These are Starlink internet satellites and uh if you've never seen them before didn't know what it was it looks like an alien invasion i was very happy to get this uh on the camera okay if you like this video please hit the like button if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and hit that notification bell check out my online courses at saltstrong.com skinner as well as my new northeast message board fishing message board over on salt strong i have a link to that in the video description don't forget my books including my new book fishing the edge techniques and tales from surf boat and kayak available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on amazon